From the dust of the mines to the endless ocean waves, from the roar of engines to the hum of cranes reaching for the sky, humankind has created monsters of steel that move the world itself. These are the gigantic moving machines, the titans that mine, lift, sail, and carry civilization on their backs. Each one tells a story of ambition, power, and the human desire to conquer the impossible. Before we begin, take a second to subscribe, like, and turn on notifications, because what you're about to see will change the way you look at machines forever. If you ever stood beside the Bagger 293, you'd feel like an insect next to a mechanical god. Built by the German company Takraf, the Bagger 293 is the largest land vehicle ever created, taller than a 30-story building and longer than two football fields. It weighs an astonishing 14,000 tons, and yet it moves, slowly, steadily, purposefully. This is no ordinary excavator. Its colossal wheel, studded with 20 enormous buckets, spins with quiet confidence, tearing through soil and rock with every rotation. Each bucket can scoop up 15 cubic meters of material. Imagine swallowing an entire living room in one gulp. Day and night, it carves the earth, moving 240,000 cubic meters of soil every single day, enough to fill 100 Olympic swimming pools. And it does so with almost eerie grace. Operators high above, sitting in control rooms larger than apartments, guide this steel titan through open pit mines. Hydraulic systems hiss, gears grind, and lights pierce through the fog of dust as the machine devours the earth. The bagger doesn't just dig, it reshapes landscapes. Mountains disappear, valleys are reborn. To stand before it is to witness human engineering at its most ambitious. It's not beautiful in a traditional sense, but there's poetry in its power. If the Bagger 293 leaves you in awe, hit the like button right now and comment giant. Because up next, we're taking a ride with a machine so big it could carry an entire building. When you hear the word truck, you probably picture something with four wheels, a cabin, maybe some cargo in the back. But the Caterpillar 797F redefines that word completely. This is not a truck, it's a moving fortress of power. Standing 25 feet tall and stretching nearly 50 feet long, the 797F dominates the mining world. Its tires, each weighing over 5,000 pounds, tower over an average person. The truck's massive diesel engine roars with 4,000 horsepower, enough to power a small town. And when fully loaded, it can carry 400 tons of rock in one trip. Imagine looking up from the ground and seeing it drive past. The earth trembles, and everything around it seems miniature. The driver sits in a cockpit so high up it feels like flying a low-flying plane. And yet, despite its size, the 797F is nimble, capable of climbing steep mining slopes and maneuvering in tight corners. Caterpillar designed it not just to be massive, but efficient, burning fuel with precision, handling extreme heat, and running day after day without rest. It's a perfect symbol of industrial endurance every time its massive bed tips backward, hundreds of tons of material tumble like waterfalls of stone, the raw ingredients of progress. Steel, copper, coal, the veins of our modern world, moved by one machine. If you think the 797F is huge, stay tuned, because what comes next doesn't roll, it floats. And it's so large, it makes skyscrapers look small. On the ocean surface, among the waves and storms, there sails a machine so vast it could carry entire oil platforms. This is the pioneering spirit, the largest construction vessel ever built. Stretching 1,250 feet long and 400 feet wide, this twin-hulled giant can lift structures weighing over 48,000 tons in one go. Imagine an entire football stadium, picked up and moved across the ocean, that's the scale we're talking about. Its job? to install and remove offshore oil platforms, colossal structures that weigh more than skyscrapers. It uses 16 powerful cranes and a complex hydraulic system to perform lifts that seem to defy physics. When it moves, it doesn't just transport, it transforms the sea. From above, it looks like a city gliding across the water, carrying platforms and pipelines that keep our world fueled and connected. Every movement is a ballet of engineering. Each crew member plays a role in the choreography, guiding cables, adjusting pressure, balancing tons of steel perfectly on the ocean's back. If you're amazed by the pioneering spirit, click subscribe now, because the next machine doesn't just sail, 
it carries the world's trade on its shoulders. In 2022, a new record was set, the world's largest container ship, the Everalot, took its first voyage. At 400 meters long and 24,000 container capacity, it can carry nearly everything a modern city needs. Cars, electronics, furniture, food, you name it. When you see it docked, it towers above the port like a metal skyscraper lying on its side. Each colorful container stacked high above the deck represents trade, jobs, and the beating heart of globalization. The Ever Alot runs with stunning efficiency, consuming fuel carefully, balancing weight with digital precision, and navigating the world's busiest trade routes with ease. Watching it move is hypnotic, a steel whale gliding through the ocean, silent but unstoppable. It's a symbol of human coordination, thousands of hands, ports, and cranes working together to make global trade possible. If you're still watching and loving these giants, drop a comment saying keep them coming, and share this video with someone who loves incredible machines. From sea to sky, meet the Liberella 13000, the most powerful crawler crane in the world. It can lift 3,000 tons, the weight of 500 elephants, in a single hoist. Its job? To assemble the unassemblable, power plants, wind turbines, and other megastructures that shape the world's infrastructure. Its boom stretches up 820 feet, reaching heights that seem impossible for a mobile machine. When in motion, its massive crawler tracks crawl slowly across construction sites, carrying the weight of the future one lift at a time. Each movement is precise, because in this world, one wrong calculation could mean disaster. The LR13000 represents the perfect balance between raw power and delicate precision. Its counterweights alone weigh hundreds of tons, moving perfectly in sync to keep stability during impossible lifts. And yet, it's fully mobile, disassembled, transported, and reassembled anywhere in the world where titanic lifting is needed. If you're inspired by this engineering brilliance, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications, because our next machine lifts even more. In the Yangtai shipyards of China stands a crane so powerful it's in the Guinness Book of World Records. The Tai Sun crane has lifted an incredible 20,000 tons, the heaviest lift ever recorded by man. It's used to assemble the largest ships ever built, lifting entire sections of vessels and placing them with millimeter precision. Instead of welding parts piece by piece, Tai Sun allows entire decks to be lifted in one motion, saving months of work. Its sheer presence is overwhelming. Two massive steel towers rise from the ground, bridged by a span longer than a football field. Beneath it, ships take shape, massive hulls growing like metal titans under its gaze. Tai Sun proves one truth, no weight is too heavy when human imagination meets engineering mastery. Some machines don't dig, or lift, or sail. They carry dreams, literally. Meet NASA's Crawler Transporter, the slowest yet most heroic machine on Earth. Since the 1960s, it has carried rockets, including the Saturn V and Space Shuttles, from NASA's Vehicle Assembly Building to the launch pad. It weighs 2,700 tons, moves on eight crawler tracks, and travels at just one mile per hour. But in that slow journey lies something poetic. Each crawl is a step towards space, a moment of history being carried to the heavens. Every mission that launched from Kennedy Space Center rode this steel beast. It's the heartbeat of human exploration, steady, reliable, powerful. Without it, the rockets that took humans to the moon would never have moved an inch. In Germany, there lies a bridge that walks, the F-60 overburden conveyor bridge. At 500 meters long, it's often called the Lying Eiffel Tower. It moves massive layers of soil from open pit mines, revealing coal and minerals below. It looks like a structure from science fiction, a city-sized machine slowly crawling across the horizon, conveyor belts running endlessly, pouring earth like rivers of dust. Yet, it's incredibly efficient, a moving solution to the challenge of mass excavation. Its steel skeleton gleams under the sun, a monument to mining precision and scale. From the depths of mines to the vastness of oceans, from lifting cities to carrying rockets, these gigantic moving machines are proof of what humanity can achieve when imagination meets determination. 
They remind us that no task is too big, no dream too heavy, no distance too far. If you enjoyed this journey, hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications.